Dear Lord, help us to learn our Bible stories so that we know you better and learn to live the way that pleases you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So today, boys and girls, our lesson is on psalms and incense. I know you don't know what that means right now, but I'm going to tell you. Today, I'm telling you about a shepherd boy named David. His father had a lot of lambs, and he trusted David to take care of them, but that was a big job. Lambs are innocent and weak little animals. They get lost easily and they need someone to take care of them. They need someone to find green grass and clean water for them to eat and drink. And they need protection from other wild animals like wolves. So David held a staff. A staff is a long stick that looks like a cane. And the staff helps David climb up and down hills. It, he leans on it for rest, but he also uses it as a weapon to protect lambs against predators like wolves that would eat them for dinner. So David sat out in the fields and he was taking care of his lambs. He liked to sing and play a harp. A harp is a musical instrument with strings. Look at the picture right here. Here's David. See his staff beside him so he can protect the lambs, but he's playing this musical instrument called a harp. It has strings and he strums the strings and it plays music and he sings. So he would make up songs about God and his songs are called psalms. Those two words sound a lot alike songs and psalms. The book called Psalms is in the Holy Bible and David's songs are written in the book of Psalms that we find in the Holy Bible. So the Lord um, told the prophet Samuel to go make David a king and so when David grew up he became a king. Here's a king's crown, and he still sung songs to God. So, do you remember in our fourth lesson, we learned about prayer, and the lesson was about Hannah, who cried because she didn't have children, and she went to the temple to pray with Eli, and that after she had a baby, his name was Samuel, then Samuel grew up and he lived in the temple with Eli. Well, he was with Eli and he kept hearing a voice speak to him at night. And he ran to Eli and he asked Eli, did you call me? And it was God. So this is the prophet Samuel that grew up and he knew David. He was the one who anointed David as king. So back to David. So David was made king by Samuel, and one day he made up a song about God. David loved God and he trusted God, and he knew that God would take care of him all of the time, just like shepherds take care of their sheep. In David's song, he was God was the shepherd and David was the little sheep. And this psalm is called the 23rd Psalm. And I'm going to show you a video right now about it.
was the second king of Israel. Yeah! He was a great warrior. Oh! He loved God with all of his heart, and he prayed to God often. Hmm. David loved God so much that he wanted to give him a special house to live in. Yeah, that's it. But God told David that it wasn't his plan for David to build this house. Even so, David thanked God for all he had done for him. He praised God for the great God that he is. Hmm. David wrote many psalms, which are prayers and songs to God that are in the Bible. In many of his psalms, David began by thanking and praising God. He thanked God for answering his prayers and giving him victory over his enemies. He thanked God for guiding him and showing him the right path to take. David thanked God for always being with him. Even when David was an old man, he thanked God in front of all the people of Israel for all that he had done. He said to the people, give praise to the Lord your God. David talked to God his whole life, and this is one reason why God said, I have found a man after my own heart. He will do everything I want him to. So in the video, the words the little shepherd boy sang were, the Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. He lets me rest in fields of green grass and he leads me to quiet pools of fresh water. He gives me new strength. He guides me in the right path as he has promised even if I go in the deepest darkness, I will not be afraid, Lord, for you are with me. Your shepherd's rod and staff protect me. Does that remind you of this picture that we have of the good shepherd? That's what he's talking about. When David was a king, he went to the temple to pray. We call God's house a church. David called it a temple. There were priests in the temple and they had a big metal pot that they kept hot as fire. And in this big metal pot that's hot, they would pour spices and oil into the pot and it would make smoke. The smoke smelled sweet like perfume and it was called incense. David wrote another song about incense. It's Psalms 140 and he says, Lord, I'm calling you, please listen to me. Hear my prayer. I hope my prayer to you is like incense that smells so sweet. In our church, we sing a song that is Psalm 40 during Vespers, which is a service at the end of the day. In just a second, I'm going to show you the incense, um, the, the sensor that Father uses in church, and a little sensor that I have at my home. So this is the sensor that Father has in church, and this part comes up, and in the bottom, let me see if I can do it differently, yeah, okay. and in the bottom right here, he puts the charcoal, and then he puts the spices on top of it, and it hangs on these four bells, four chains, and you hear it has bells. Well, the four chains are for Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. They wrote about Jesus in the New Testament, and the bells are about the apostles, who were the teachers that went all over the world to teach about Jesus. So when Father lights the charcoal, do you know what comes out? Smoke comes out, sweet smelling smoke. And we know when we see smoke that comes from a fire, or in this case from the charcoal and the incense, the smoke goes up, just like our prayers go to heaven, where God is. So in our homes, we can also burn incense in smaller sensors. I'll show you mine from home. So this is my incense burner from home, and I tried to, I tried to light some incense, but it doesn't really want to, if you want to come closer, you can, 
but it doesn't really want to burn because my charcoal is old, I guess. But there's a piece of charcoal in there and that little white piece is incense. So it's made from tree, tree sap and things like from nature that would smell nice and it's put on the charcoal and then when it burns, the smoke comes up. So this is my little sensor from home. You might have one at your house too. So boys and girls, that's our lesson today. Now you know that Psalms is a book in the Bible that was written by David and it's songs about God and you know what incense are and you know why we burn incense in church because the smoke goes up to heaven where God is and is sweet like the prayers that he hears from us. So I will see you next week and we'll learn something else. I love you all very much. Have a good week. Bye.